So those are the prawns, prawns. <laughs> Okay, so in this video, we are gonna talk about both the pros and the cons to living in Ladera Ranch, California. My name is Christian Stubbs. I am a team leader and co-founder here at the Stubbs and Bammer Luxury Group. I live in Ladera Ranch, so I feel like I can talk on this and be an expert in the community. So let's start with the pros, the good things about living in Ladera Ranch. So number one is gonna be the community feel you get in Ladera Ranch. If you know anything about Ladera Ranch, it has a ton of amenities and they do events all over the place. So in your amenities you have four clubhouses you have like 15 pools 20 plus parks gardening you have a water park dog park skate park there are all kinds of different things that Ladera Ranch has to offer now uh, most of these amenities are going to be tailored for a younger demographic and especially for young families most of the amenities or at least half of them are really geared towards children so if you have a family or are looking to grow a family in the future Ladera Ranch can be a fantastic place to live now moving on from number one pro number two is the school system's absolutely fantastic. Ranking in number eight in all of Orange County, Ladera Ranch has almost all eight plus rating schools. And when they built the community, they had the idea of this being a very family oriented neighborhood, but also having schools be very important. Now there's also a fantastic private preschool uh, named Goddard that is absolutely a fantastic school that you can have your kids in before they get into the public school system. A lot of our consumers are looking at living in Ladera Ranch as opposed to other cities that don't have as highly rated schools because they feel like they don't have to send their kids to private schools you can go ahead and stay from kindergarten or even preschool all the way through high school in Ladera Ranch, all in fantastic schools. Pro number three for Ladera Ranch, now this is an interesting one, is that I feel as a realtor and a resident that you have the opportunity for growth in a community. A lot of the times when you think of buying your first starter home, most people look at houses as stepping stones through their life. Well, Ladera Ranch has houses at all different levels. So you can go from an apartment building that you can rent in to if you're looking to buy a property, there are townhome condos that start at one bed, one bath, and they go all the way up to 10 plus million dollar custom estates behind the gates in Covenant Hills. So the cool part about living in Ladera Ranch is that if you do start on a starter home or in a mid-level home, is you can go and stay within the city and live in any type of different housing that Orange County has to offer. And then pro number four, and this has probably become more of a desirable thing in the last couple of years, but Ladera Ranch is a newer built community. So whereas if you're familiar with Orange County, most of Orange County, like Mission Viejo, was built in as late as the 1960s or 70s or 80s, construction in Ladera Ranch wasn't even really started until 1999, and most of Ladera was built in about the 2002 to 2003 range, meaning that you have newer homes that will need less maintenance over time, and certainly less maintenance sooner than some of those older homes in neighboring cities like Mission Viejo. Viejo, San Juan Capistrano, or even Laguna Niguel. So those are the pros of living in Ladera Ranch. Now let's get to the cons. Now number one, this is probably the most important thing if you're looking to purchase in Ladera Ranch, is taking into consideration the cost of living is much higher than it's going to be in several other cities surrounding. Now the reason that it's higher is Ladera Ranch has both Melarus, HOA, and it also has an enhancement fee when you do purchase in the city. So the enhancement fee is just a one-time fee that when you buy in Ladera ranch, there is a cost associated that the buyer typically pays for. So Melarus is also an additional expense that adds to your property tax bill. Now, it isn't property tax, it's actually a bond that was taken out by the developer when they built the city. So instead of having to sell all of the homes for more money, they added this Melarus tax to the properties so that they could sell the homes at a more affordable rate and homeowners that moved in would just have to pay this off over what is typically a 20 to a 40 year time horizon. In Ladera Ranch, that's about 30 years. But basically what it means is that you're gonna pay more in property taxes when you're living in Ladera Ranch. So the last part of this is the HOA. Now you are in a master plan community here in Ladera Ranch. To keep up the pristine look that Ladera Ranch has, obviously there's going to be HOA fees and they are a little bit higher than you're gonna see in other cities, but not disproportionate to the amount of amenities and everything you get for living in Ladera Ranch. Okay, so con number two for living in Ladera Ranch is that it is a relatively dense community. So what I mean by that is when they were developing the city, they built more homes in a smaller area. So there are smaller lots for a regular sized home to where your average lot size in Ladera Ranch for homes that sold last year 
is about 5,000 to 5,500 square feet, which is probably 20 or 30% smaller than you would see in other cities. Now with this, the builders actually built more house on that lot. So the trade-off is you typically have more square feet on your house with the trade-off of being a little bit smaller in the lot. Now, a lot of residents don't seem to care about the smaller lots because the trade-off is you have all of the amenities to use of the parks and the clubhouses in almost anywhere in Ladera Ranch. You're walking distance from some outside space that you and your family can enjoy. Okay, so I saved this as a bonus for last because it is both, in my opinion, a pro and a con. So this is location. And if you've ever heard the saying, location, 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 when buying real estate is the most important thing, it rings true. So for me personally, as a resident in Ladera Ranch, I think the location is a pro because I grew up in Southern California and being very close to the ocean is important to me. So living in Ladera Ranch, I know that I'm about a 15 to 20 minute drive south to both Dana Point and San Clemente. So I get down to the Dana Point Harbor or the San Clemente Pier in about 15 to 20 minutes. Also, we're about 30 to 35 minutes away from both Laguna Beach and Newport Beach. The reason that the commute to the beach is so short for Ladera Ranch is because the way it's positioned in Orange County is it's very far south, which also leads me to the con of the location, which is that it is far south in Orange County. So if you have a commute, just being a little bit farther south and inland in Ladera Ranch is gonna add about 10 to 15 minutes just to get to the freeway. And you're gonna be about 30 minutes from Irvine and maybe an hour to an hour and a half away from LA, depending on where, of course, in the city you're looking to drive. So those are the pros and the cons of living in Ladera Ranch. If this sounds like a city you might wanna live in, reach out, you have our information. We'll look forward to hearing from you.